We are here at the Smart Tech event in, um, in uh, Romania, Constanza. So, and we are so glad our Media Lux, our Media Lux community, our followers are so glad to, that we can introduce, that we, we can present uh, Orkut uh, Lobser uh, from uh, the core group, COO, and uh, one of the main founders. And so what we do, by, uh, so Media Lux, we always make, make the give me five, give me five uh, interview with five main questions to you. And um, so, um, Core to 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 uh, to present a little bit um, short. So develop the software platform for the 21st century for communication for transactions. So decentralized software solutions based on the core platform. So and it's really revolutionary. So our community knows uh, quite uh, quite a lot about core because we are promoting it. So in uh, Germany and, and in Switzerland, in Austria, also Benelux and um, uh, France also we will do and um, yes, also our friends in Croatia. So they are happy uh, to, uh, to hear some, uh, some of, um, of the answers from, 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 uh, from Ockert. So Ockert, the first question, the first question, we had the initial idea to uh, create the core blockchain and uh, when exactly did you start with the development? Thank you very much. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, ich spreche etwas Deutsch, aber mein Deutsch ja. ist nicht so gut. Uh, uh, ich denke, das ist uh, viel besser, wenn ich in, uh, in Englisch spreche. Genau. Aber ein Schuldigen, mein Deutsch ist echt wahr. Also wir haben da noch eine sechste Frage in Deutsch am Ende. <lacht> <lacht> Aber äh, okay, so deswegen, wir werden es auch übersetzen für, die, für, die, für, für unsere Community in Deutsch und äh, die meisten können ja auch Englisch im Ausland werden wir tun, ja. So, okay. nochmal zur Frage zurück, wer hat's? Okay, so, um, first and foremost, uh, it, we actually started the development in 2014 um, and it all started extremely uh, interesting, it actually all started with the e-commerce platform of splitting a payment. And um, basically, when we met Rastislav, he was explaining to us blockchain and said we need an exchange and we need various he's things. He's responsible for, for the development. Yeah, the, yeah, he's, he's our CTO, Rastislav. Yes, I just yeah. want to say he's, he's really responsible for quite a lot of things. Um, one of a kind. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, yeah, definitely yeah. one of a kind. <laughs> yeah. But uh, the one thing that I can say is, is um, when we went to Michael and we explained to him, listen, we got to use blockchain and we got to build an exchange then Michael actually said well we're gonna build our own blockchain now I can't say on camera what we said to him yeah. but it was a little bit like do you have any idea how much work that is and huge uh, do you have any idea how difficult that is and then he said we're gonna do it so it was actually Michael's initiative and then what I can say is I really have to say that Rastislav being the individual that he is uh, on the communities that he is he's a part of OWASP uh, he's one of uh, the only two licensed white hackers in uh, Slovakia so yes. if the government has an issue that's the that's the person they call yes. and uh, it was Rastislav that implemented the high means of security the elliptic curves uh, uh, the the, the cryptography, all these types of things. It was Rastislav and Michael basically that came up with this and that, that uh, brought core blockchain to where it is today. Okay, so an impressive mind behind. An yeah. Impressive mind behind. <laughs> so to the second question, so which are the highlights, um, also the differences and the advantages of uh, the core blockchain technology compared to other systems on the market? Yeah. Okay, first and foremost, I would like to say there are a lot of brilliant blockchain technologies out there and blockchains itself there are good ones really really good ones the differentiator between our blockchain of course and other blockchains is first of all we are proof of work we can do a verified transaction in uh, 42 seconds we can do 1000 transactions per second and we're upping it to 10,000 transactions per Incredible. second we are IOT CPU based um, uh, for mining for proof of work but the important thing that I need to mention is that the algorithm is built in a way that even if you try and put bigger machines on it 
your ROI is actually going to be more profitable on an IoT device. Um, the other thing, the very big differentiator is the fact that we conform to regulatory environments uh, where we have the Edwards Curve ED448 for the cryptography yes. um, to actually uh, penetrate our blockchain. Uh, we have a challenge out there uh, which is actually going to take place uh, where we have the offer from the NSA who have a bet with us and have said that they will do the penetration testing if they can um, penetrate our blockchain or if they, if they can then they won't certify it but if they can't we will get the first blockchain ever to have a stamp by a government saying this is unpenetrable and that's from the NSA themselves that's an announcement yes absolutely so the, the, one thing one thing that we go a little bit uh, just as we talk a little bit about that because the big difference is also that the most blockchains are closed systems yes uh -huh. so in the core blockchain is a you have these railways they are open to other systems there are to other software systems also if we mention it so if it's a, a database system right, right now for Microsoft or Oracle or whatever so you can connect each other also with other blockchains and that's the game changer yes yes the the important thing is is our blockchain is open source and apart from having uh, interoperability for other blockchains to actually use it um, also one thing that i didn't mention about our blockchain what what is a very key factor is it's six watts for a miner only six watts a light bulb like i said previously a light bulb has 60 watts, 60 watts yeah. that means 10 mining devices can run on that power consumption and the beautiful part is is that we can do it without internet without the internet so decentralized totally and so also to give everybody in the world the possibility to be connected to have to to, to have a good communication to have the possibility to make transactional uh, uh, transactions all over the world because I think it's 98%, yes? Yes, 98% global reach. Global reach, so it's incredible. Including oceans, not just continents. Including oceans, so also underwater. Yes. So my, my friend Nemo, so we, we had a call together, so and I told him, so you will have something to, to have your calls and to, <laughs> to make your transactions. So, no, I'm joking. So the, the, the third question, so when we speak about blockchain and uh, digitization, we automatically speak about um, the security of our data. Mm -hmm. So, uh, which are your, your, what are your thoughts about this main topic, security? Well, security is about the Edwards curve, the ED448. It's about how the cryptography actually protects it, how the encryption is done. Now, to explain to you, the ED448, the way that the algorithm is, work, uh, is, is built, and the way that, that we built it, and how we do our certain encryption, um, we can basically say that for large computing power, um, you know, I don't want to dare say quantum computing, but what I can say is clustered computing to try and decipher and decrypt. This is why we are saying that we have the challenge with NSA and that we made a bet and uh, they are good for this bet. We will probably be a government certified because it is resistant. It is made for government. Yes, also. it is made for governments yeah. and, and, and it is resistant against uh, deciphering. So it will take more than a hundred years for, for supercomputers and for cluster computing to actually decipher one part of a packet. So we can tell the people out there in the community that this is state of the art, state of the art security yes. uh, uh, technology also behind. So we we were talking about the corpus. Our people know the corpus is the entry, the identity for to for all for all use cases also on the on the for all all software systems on the core based on the core blockchain. So and this is the thing. So and we don't have to uh, to be afraid about the system so we can be sure that our data, our transactions, our communication is yes. secure. Yes, okay. 100%. Okay, so um, yes, let's, let's talk about, I was talking a little bit about the ecosystem and, um, and the use cases and the solutions. Um, it really appears to be um, really integrated a borderless, a borderless software platform from a single source and that's a game changer because everything from one hand so 
And um, can you tell us, uh, can you tell us, give us some details about the main core solutions and uh, maybe also the, the different, uh, the launching date of the dates, <laughs> the solutions. I presume that is... If uh, you say no, it's no. <laughs> well, accept. it is, it, 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 it is a question which, I, which we are asked quite a lot. Yeah, but um, they ask us outside, uh, outside so yes. or people ask us every day, so yes. every week. So, yes. And that's why I, <laughs> I have this question for you, especially. Okay, well... Um, the 11th of August, the pre-sale ends. Uh, the 11th the of token. August, of the core token. token. Yes, you have to, to um, get some. That, that's very important. It's a security token. It's. I have to mention this. It's like. Do we ever have been inside? Inside uh, had the possibility to be part of a, of a, of a launch from a, from a, from the new blockchain like. Uh, like I would say Ethereum or uh, also Bitcoin. No, we weren't. So and right now we have the possibility to do it. So actually, uh, he, he, the core token is at seven cent. Yes. So and this is an incredible opportunity, and will, it will be the base of all use cases. Yes, it will be the currency behind which is working. So every process, every process, every transaction behind is done in CDN token. Yes. So we have an e-commerce system, etc. Run. I just wanted to mention yeah. that for the people out there. So to answer your question, the eleventh of August. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, the eleventh of August. So deadline. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the the important thing to say about um, use cases and the core ecosystem itself, um, we are. We are a full digital economy. A digital economy consists of network and communication. It consists of a financial structure. Um, and then it has a marketplace. That can actually complete an entire digital economy. And of course, you need to be identified. Now, there are multiple use cases which we are bringing in, which can be for schools, it can be for um, government institutions, it can be uh, for um, agriculture. We have multiple agriculture uh, environments which we are bringing in from uh, sheep farming where you can see where actually the food produce comes yeah. from, what is the hay that they're eating, are they eating corn, is it natural, is it bio, is it whatever, so you can track and trace all of this. Also the su supply chain. Yes, the, supply the, the chain. entire supply yes. chain in agriculture we can actually bring in and we, we've got several agricultural businesses which we are bringing on board. We can be a service provider for infrastructure for ISPs, internet service providers, where we can actually be the last mile reach. What is the biggest thing what just happened with Elon Musk? He just mentioned, I need 30 billion dollars otherwise we're gonna go bankrupt and uh, Starlink won't survive now I will tell you what is the biggest problem it's because he's using satellites and he's trying to deploy expensive equipment to actually receive this now if he speaks to us listen Elon <laughs> We can be the last mile reach. We are the ground network. We can actually provide this infrastructure entirely for any ISP, for any other environment that, that needs to transact in, in non-connective environments, for shipping companies, for um, uh, well, cruise ships, for uh, logistics, yeah, the logistics. You do it for, already in, in Africa. Yes, yeah. yes. We, 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 have, we have several use cases in, in, in South Africa, which we are in logistics, which we are putting in for remote beacons, for, um, and then actually measuring even tire pressure and take, and because that's one of the, the biggest um, uh, accidents that actually happens in fleet, in, in trucking. Also insurance on demand and those yes, things, it, you know? Yes, exactly. Yeah. So the industry, we, we are basically the, um, the infrastructure for businesses, whether you are centralized or decentralized, to connect seamlessly and start using it. You can stream on it, you can do whatever you want in the network. And it is basically the infrastructure for you to get even a further reach and broaden your market that you currently have already. Amazing. So um, when we look at you, so we see that over your head the sun is shining. It's just shining. So uh, of, of, <laughs> with those informations, it's just incredible. It's amazing. So 
our yes uh, so it's the fifth question from our give me five so but we were the launching dates we were we weren't talking about so yes unfortunately but, i cannot mention those just yet but i can tell you that it is very close we are currently coming something soon yes we yes. are we are right now at this moment as we speak we are actually already starting to deploy the first pilot project which will be open to the public which we will be streaming in the beta test version for multiple of our platforms we will open it to the public also very soon so that i can guarantee you soon is an understatement it's going extremely fast <laughs> so we we believe in that so thank you very much for that so the last one right now my last question my fifth question is what are the short and uh, medium term expectations and also plans uh, for the core group well uh, as per uh, douglas anderson's speech um, right now the short term uh, plan is we will have we an interview later with uh, yes. Douglas Anderson also so, so we're re really excited about that but he's excited about the core group what yes. I heard so it's incredible yeah. so D Douglas has done some amazing work he's on our board of directors I will leave it up to Douglas to uh, explain to you what he has done with our board uh, it's absolutely phenomenal uh, all he's credit a phenomenal to him. expert yes, yes. Um, we are extremely lucky and happy to have um, a man of his stature and abilities and connections uh, on our board. Um, but the, the first step that we are going to do is actually taking the company public on the New York, uh, or not the New York, but let's say the United States Stock Exchange. Um, and the reason why we're doing that is uh, because we want to put infrastructure as fast as possible, as quick as possible for everybody, for everybody so that the network can be deployed immediately. And this is exactly what we are doing. Um, and of course, this requires a lot of capital. So uh, this is why we are taking the company public. Um, the next thing uh, that I can say is, is we have uh, several um, projects which we are releasing because this is such a big project. You know, you can't just say, there's everything, have One at step it. At, yeah, we're going to take everything. You know, how do you step eat an step. elephant yeah. bite by bite? So, you know, we will be releasing uh, certain parts of the project uh, in the first uh, release. And then during the course of the year, up and uh, we we're releasing several other projects, which uh, everything's actually completed. We're either in test phase or we're finaling, finalizing certain parts. And then in the first quarter, up until the second quarter, we have some other projects which we are releasing there. We have several use cases which are coming on board, which we are negotiating with. Um, we are putting uh, Cyprus under uh, internet. Uh, we're putting Slovakia under, uh, or not internet, let's say Cyprus under our Luna Mesh network. Um, we're putting... Uh, we have uh, so many topics that, that the people will stay tuned. Yes, of course, they have yes. to be because we have so many things to, 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 to show and there's so many use cases just amazing so and uh, there's uh, a lot of uh, things uh, <laughs> uh, we will be happy about it and I think it's to make also the world better yes yes, yes. it's it's all about making the world better one of the things that everyone has to have a look at is wallace.world it's our philanthropic side, it's our humanitarian side, and it's about equal opportunity, inclusion, and equality. And this is exactly what we stand for, is those three fundamental things which the United Nations and so many amazing companies are working on, and we want to contribute towards that. And we didn't uh, talk about um about all the amazing things like banking as a service, wall money, core pay, all these things. That's really amazing. So there are such uh, really a lot of things which are, uh, uh, yes, which will excite us and uh, which will make the, the, you know, our everyday life better, much more better, much more easier. So and also our communication so yes that was my last question so my partner steven steven wagner has another question in german yes uh -huh. so so the, so that's the sixth one so the sixth sense so your question is steven come here come over here yes <laughs> come in our I, I hope i'm gonna understand it no, my german yes. must not let me down now <laughs> Keine Angst, keine Sorge, Volksgesorge. Wir machen hier aber keine Werbung, ja. Nein, jetzt schalten wir um auf Deutsch. Ja. Ganz simpel und einfach. Lieber Hogart, ich habe zwei Fragen. Ganz simpel und einfach. Ja, doch zwei, aber kurze. Sehen wir dich irgendwann in einem deutschen Stream mit uns? Deutsch sprechend an die deutsche Community bei Medialux. Ich kann es das machen, aber... Äh, meine Deutsch etwa ist, ist nicht 
äh, super, super, aber ich verstehe es und ich, ich, ich kann sprechen. Ähm, und äh, ich, ich denke, dass, dass, das ist nicht ein Problem für mich, äh, aber meine, meine, ähm, meine Technical äh, Description, äh, ja, das ist, das ist nicht äh, für, 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 für Technical. Aber, aber ich, ich, ich kann sprechen und ich kann sagen, was, was ich denke und, und was ist gut, aber das ist, das ist ein eine, äh, deutsches Englisch. Also ich bin ja. überzeugt, es kommt super rüber. Total, ja. super rüber ja. Total authentisch. Gemeinsam sind wir stark, und, eine Familie. Ähm, der Sandro wird dich da jederzeit unterstützen. Und äh, die zweite Bitte und Frage wäre, wenn wir so eine Veranstaltung wie heute ähm, in Deutschland irgendwann planen und umsetzen, ob es vielleicht sogar möglich wäre, dass du uns da vielleicht besuchen kommen könntest. Äh, ich habe eine, äh, äh, eine Chance, äh, eine Chance äh, in, ich, ich gehe jetzt nach Deutschland, äh, nach Berlin, äh, aber okay. wo, wo, wo bist du in Deutschland? Wir sind genau am anderen Ende Richtung französische Grenze, 380 Kilometer südlich von Paris. Also 60 Kilometer Luxemburg, Luxemburg. Aha. Ja. Also aber Deutsch wir können das überall planen. Ich, ich Wenn wir jetzt, was planen, ich, stimmen wir das ja, ab. Ja, ich, 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 ich gehe jetzt auch, äh, auch äh, nach, nach Switzerland, ja. äh, so wir können das... Äh, ja. Ja, so Luxemburg machen und, und das ist genau. Wir planen das ja, 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 ja. Und, und wir können wir dir das machen. Ja. Ja, okay, ja, ja, super. Ja. Das wird das mich sehr freuen. Freude. Dann entlassen wir dich jetzt und jetzt. Genau. Vielen Dank nochmal, Norbert. Vielen, vielen, Dank. vielen, vielen ja. Dank. Das ist äh, meine, meine, und jetzt meine wir den, Jetzt genießen wir gleich das Essen und, ja. äh, und lassen es uns gut gehen. Und wir haben jetzt äh, die nächsten zwei, drei Tage noch gemeinsam was vor. Ja. Und das ist wirklich, es war ein fantastischer Tag heute, ein fantastisches Event und unglaubliche Menschen, die wir heute kennenlernen durften. Und äh, wir haben ja, viele waren ja im Livestream dabei, aber äh, es wird ja auch aufgezeichnet. Wir stellen dann äh, euch das Ganze auch nochmal zur Verfügung. Vielen Dank. Okay, vielen Dank.